It's yes. really interesting. You know, um, Mike was the original first choice for Back to the Future. But when they came to us, um, and these were our friends, you know, Kathy Kennedy, uh, my SDSU alum, and Steven Spielberg, who'd become a really close friend through Kathy, and they wanted Mike. They loved Steven Spielberg was the first person to see the Family Ties pilot when I had finished it. And he stood behind me, and when it was done, he said, it's a hit. I guarantee it. That boy's going to be a major star. So I was thinking during the first year when the ratings were shaky, I was tempted to call him and what exactly did you mean by guarantee? <laughs> but so Stephen, and Stephen used to come Friday nights, and it was really interesting uh, how you could see that Alice character take over because we had done one show uh, with Tracy Nelson as and Mike, uh, who's an ERA advocate, a young woman, and Mike Alex completely lies about his commitment to the women's movement and and all that just to 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 meet her, you know, and be close with her. And then at the end, when she finds out it's all been a hoax, she tells him to get lost. And, you know, that was the last scene. So after the show, Stephen comes up, and he's not his usual excited self, you know. And I go, what, what, hey, didn't you like the show? He goes, no, I like it, I like it. I go, but then he goes, but Alex didn't get the girl. I go, well, he lied, he cheated. I mean, what, why should he get the girl? He goes, he goes, yeah, but it's Alex. We want him to be happy. So I thought, well, we're really on the edge of something here, you know. And the New York Times, in that final uh, piece on the show, it said, greed with the face of an angel you know, which was Alex Keaton. Um, but in any case, so they ha came and said, we want Michael for the movie, but there was no way. It was right during the season. There was just no way we could make that happen. We'd have to have not done Family Ties. Um, so we go about our business. They have another actor. And then they are in to the shooting, several million dollars, and they are not happy. And Stephen called me and said, I need a favor, or is this possible now that you guys have done so much? Could we have Michael now if we threw out all this footage and just start over? And they'd come up with a way they were going to shoot nights and weekends, and they had isolated the scenes so that they didn't have to go back in and shoot the whole scene again. They would just shoot Mike's part, his angle. And they had a plan that they thought would work. And uh, I said, well, um, yeah. I mean, I, obviously, I love all those people. I wanted to help if I could. So. First, find out if Mike uh, was interested. It was very funny. So they sent me the script. Mike had to come to my office and read the script. So I go, here, they want to see if you like it. And Mike goes, yeah, I like it. You know, <laughs> what do you mean? Am I, am I not going to like it? I like it. And then he was started reading it, and he, he did like it. He couldn't barely control himself, you know. And uh, I had only one condition uh, that I thought needed to be imposed, which is that Mike not ever drive himself. Because he was, first of all, he was in his... I'm in a Ferrari, I can drive as fast as I want. No one will ever give me a ticket. I'm Alex Keaton mode, which was true. And plus he'd be going back and forth, you know, so, and they, that was great. They had a bed made for him in the back of a SUV or whatever it was in those days. And so he would sleep on the way to Universal or whatever the location was. And at this point, he was so facile and so gifted anyway that, you know, he didn't really, we were doing four day shoot anyway by now. Um, so he would come, instead of coming Tuesday, he would come Thursday. He just needed his blocking, and, and he said, look, I'll, whatever, I'm not going to make line changes, just let's, let's make it work. And so I was happy to do it. I was really happy to do it. And uh, it was interesting, when the move, after I had said that, guys had come to me, older guys in the business who I really respect, and they said, you made a terrible mistake. And I said, why? It was like the third year of the show, I guess. He said, well, your show's doing great. And now this kid's going to leave. You know, it's going to be a movie star. So I said to Diana, did I make a terrible mistake? And she said, no, they don't know Michael. You know, Mike, Michael wouldn't do that. He's never going to leave. He's just not, it's not him. And she said then, you know, anyway, we don't want to make our success on, on, at the expense of somebody else's opportunity. I, I thought we did. I thought we were willing to. But evidently she wasn't. And she said, anyway, it's not going to happen. You know, and of course, Mike, Anytime anyone ever asked him, he said, well, you know, Gary, let me do that movie. I'll do Family Ties as long as he wants me to, you know. And he, Mike, lived up to every last point of his contract. Never missed a day asking for more money. Uh, did the whole seven years uh, like the absolute prince charming that he is, you know. <laughs>